Data science and other data careers are projected to grow more rapidly than the average occupations, with each median annual wage surpassing the median of all fields in 2021. This hopeful landscape that data careers have painted has become very tempting for people of many career backgrounds, but some will have it easier than others. Today, we will share some professions that will have a relatively smooth transition into the data field, what some of these advantages of these previous backgrounds could be, and some tips for each. Number one, mathematics. You'll most likely have to focus on learning programming. Your background in math probably has already helped you develop the logical sense required for these careers, for problem solving, analysis, and finding meaningful insights. It can be helpful even when you're learning to code. You'll already have deep theoretical knowledge. AI algorithms usually need an understanding of calculus and linear algebra. It'll be easier for you to see programming languages as a way of making these math concepts tangible and the bridge between your knowledge and the data field. Number two, software engineering. If you come from software engineering, you're technically halfway there. You already know programming, and will quickly get used to the languages used in data. You should also be familiar with software development cycles, data structures, algorithms, and so on. You have the other side of the maths coin, so you'll probably have to study it a bit, plus some machine learning, statistics, and deep learning. You can work on backend or somehow migrate into a more database focused role in your job already. In that case, it can familiarize you with many dynamics in data, such as data pipelines. Becoming a data engineer or machine learning engineer would be an easy transition into the data world for you. If you had the chance to work with data, you will already understand what is necessary and beneficial when doing so. It's even better if you spent considerable time deploying models. All of these will make the change easy and streamlined. Number three, marketing. As a marketing professional, you will have a lot of experience with similar dynamics and thought processes needed in data careers. Firstly, you already use statistics to understand current trends that can help your company when identifying or measuring the successes of a project or an idea. If you take this step into data, applying your statistics knowledge to build predictive models, for example, will be a lot easier. You're also familiar with A-B testing which data scientists widely use. If you had the chance to explore machine learning in your job, it would be effortless to understand how to use it in data. Lastly, you must have excellent communication skills for your career already. And communicating your insights and discoveries effectively in data is just as important as finding them. This skill is definitely gonna make you stand out. Now, regarding what you're gonna to have to learn, you'll mostly have to focus on more technical stuff like programming and data manipulation, and maybe go a little more in depth in statistics and math. Number four, finance. Those who work in finance know they have much of the required knowledge I mentioned in the previous careers on this list. Finance requires strong math and accounting knowledge, which is a need in data too. And your experience with statistics and analytics will come in very handy when working with data. You probably already have an experience dealing with large data sets and extract the insights from them. Not only that, but you will also have to find ways to communicate your findings in an easy to understand manner for stakeholders who need to become more familiar with everything that happens in finance. Similar to marketing, your job will be to hone your technical skills since the way of thinking and the business-driven approach of your insights will help you understand how to apply the technical knowledge to the field. Number five, statistics. As I mentioned, knowing statistics is crucial for an analysis or data science job. As a statistician, you have probably lived many experiences that will help you take a step toward a data career. You already have the crucial data skills, experience with the programming languages and data modeling used in the industry and so on. Data science is the step that has to be made to use all the data our current technology allows us to access once we know how to manage it. How you collect data, the amount of data you deal with, and what you use it for are some of the main differences between your current job and this data one. When becoming, let's say, a data scientist, 
you'll open the doors to new sources and formats of information. You'll mostly have to deepen your knowledge and skills in programming and develop a more business-driven way of thinking. For each career I mentioned, there's a shared skill set or way of thinking with data that will help its professional become data professionals. And even if you come from a career that is not so related to programming, statistics, or maths, the secret is to rewire your current knowledge into a data-driven direction and start mixing data with your current job. As we've seen in other videos, this is pretty common today. No matter your industry, data affects decisions in every field you may be in. When you begin changing careers, you need to identify what skills and knowledge you need for your desired role, where you can learn them and get some experience to start presenting yourself as a data professional. At Turing College, you can get knowledge, skills, expertise, and guidance from world-class professionals who can help you hone your profile and portfolio to become the professional you want to be. I hope this video has clarified the similarities and things to work on when aiming for a data career path when you have a different professional background. If you found it helpful, leave a like and click the subscribe button for more videos on data, tech, and productivity twice a week. That's been it for today. Thank you so much for watching.